Hey guys, what's up? If you haven't seen the other videos, there's a link in the description below that'll take you to them. You leave them for... Warning, volume about to increase. CONTEXT! Bounty points if you get the reference. <laughs> anyway, I would really appreciate it if you would check it out. Thank you! Right, let's get to it. So for one of our later dates, my sister Arissa invited us out to her house for a game night. I felt like this was a really good opportunity. Frank would get to meet my family, and they'd all get to know each other. There was some anxiety, of course, about how this would go. I know my family was anxious to finally meet him, and I'm sure he wished to make a good first impression, which is probably why he offered to bring a board game. Now, this was a good idea, however, I knew my siblings were really into a new game, and I suspected they would only want to play that. I told Frank he could bring his game, but that I wasn't sure if they'd want to play, since they were living this new game they'd been playing. He said he understood, but wanted to bring it anyway just in case they were interested. I felt a little wary about this decision, but in the end, I agreed. Frank and I had discussed how we would be getting to my sister's house. Frank lived across town, and he was closer to my sister's house than he was to mine. He wanted to pick me up as he usually did for our dates and drive us to my sister's house, but to me, this felt like both a waste of time and gas money and would do nothing but put added stress on him, so... But maybe I worry too much, because it's a, it's a thing I do, so there's that. I suggested that we both drive and meet up at Arissa's house, as it would be halfway between us. He declined the idea, but is anyone really surprised by that at this point? Like, come on. He said he was fine to pick me up, and while I still thought it was a waste of time, I agreed. Bear with me, this next bit of info is important for the story. Now, it takes me roughly an hour to get ready, or longer, depending on how long or unruly my hair is at that point in time. Half an hour if I'm moving express. 10 to 15 minutes if it's a no makeup needed excursion. And at that time, I was living with a friend, and that night she was hanging out with her friend in her room. So, having reluctantly settled on the method of transportation that night, I went to get ready for my date. He said he'd be about half an hour. I headed to my room, and stopped by my friend's room on the way. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but if you hear the doorbell, will you let Frank in and have him sit in the living room, please? Something that sounds like a yes. Uh, okay, thank you. Quick note, in hindsight, that was incredibly rude of me. My roommate's busy, and it's not her job to answer the door for my date. It was just plain rude of me. Okay, note over. So I showered and began blow drying my hair, when partway through drying, I could swear I heard the doorbell ring. Hey, can you get the door, please? I thought I heard her answer me, and her door opened, so I went back to drying my hair. I finished it about five minutes later, again, rude on my part for making him wait, and went into the living room, but Frank wasn't there. Alright guys, that's it for this video. This is just gonna be part one. Part two is coming. Don't worry, it's not gonna take me another three months. Knock on wood. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If it's a no makeup needed excursion, excur excursion, there it is. I heard the doorbell ring. Doorbell, the doorbell, the doorbell ring, the doorbell, doorbell. I began blow drying my hair when part, what, wait, what, where, what? Huh.